Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Fight Channel here, ladies and gentlemen. We got UFC 304 here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last matchup before we get into the co-main event and main event championship matches, ladies and gentlemen. It's Bobby Green, or you want to call King Green, whoever, ladies and gentlemen, versus Patty Pebblet, ladies and gentlemen, from Manchester, England. Let's go to the arena for this matchup. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. plays out. At times, Green has started slowly, at other times he has come out guns blazing. James Krause can certainly attest to that. Of course, he was knocked out by that vicious body kick back in 2013. Bobby Green ready to go here early round one. Green gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Fighter lines a kick now, a pretty good one at that. Just over three minutes to go now. Defense. Green gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Oh, he kicked him in the head. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. That is a damaging kick that lands. All right, so another winning jab right there, snapping his head back like a Pez dispenser. You can tell he was a former boxer. Yeah, absolutely. You can tell that that is his base. The way that he throws the jab is fundamentally sound. Does it like he was trained to do it as a young boy. And right now, behind that jab, he's finding himself the head. Look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Under two minutes now to go. with that right hand. Pimblet's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh, kick! Oh, Pimblet's are going towards the left now. I love 
love that one. I love that one. Stunned, jump driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Oh, big left. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Oh, another strike to the torso right there. Got to get better defensively, or that's going to be a real factor as this fight continues. He's got to tuck that elbow. Yeah. I mean, he's got that elbow flaring, and every time his opponent's going right up under and landing right to the body. He's got to do something different right now, or he's going to get to a point where he will not be able to continue this fight. Oh, the kick landed. 20 seconds left. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Final seconds. Beautiful. Beautiful. Round two straight ahead. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic job. They put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level of martial arts. with that right hand. Back to the jab now, no good. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedowns, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. There it is, now he's going to mount. Nice sub attempt. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. He's moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Pimblet's in half goal. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Greens right back to the full mount. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He passes to half guard. Big ground and pound. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Green's back in full guard. And there you go, again, half guard. You 
see him put himself into the half guard. Likes the control, yep. Pimlet's back in full mount. Well, not exactly what we thought we would see out of this jiu-jitsu fighter. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body. He's got a finish here. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lands a good combination. Stunned him several times. Huge round from Green. He doesn't want to be there. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action. And if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change level, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the early <laughs> Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Back and forth we go. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that over. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that cut, that crimson ray is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Great block there. Pimblet's eye now closing up. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Leg kick lands nicely done. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Pimblet's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Three minutes now to go in this one. Clean punch right there. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Single leg takedown. He passed the half guard. Look at him attack that arm 
triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish his fight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Inside the closed guard. Green's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, nice guillotine there. He's off. What's the mission defense on this play? Now he's got good body position. Yep. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Pimlet's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. All right, late in the fight now, DC. Big leg kick. Big head kick! Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, effective use of the jab by Green. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out with him. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to... Under a minute now to go in this right one. Back. Right back. Green's in half court. Let's go. Oh, look at that. High level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Right, I'm gonna start this off. Beautiful submission attempt here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. He's got it. He's got it. a triangle, you do not escape, but he remained calm, and he found a way to get out and be safe again. Great job defensively. He needs to shove the knees, get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Pimble. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bobby King Green. All right, so it does go to the scorecards, perhaps to the surprise of some, but largely a dominant performance by the boxer against the Brazilian jiu-jitsu player. Well, I mean, you got to watch him and the fact that everything he did was different. He wasn't throwing one technique. He wasn't just... All right, ladies and gentlemen, that went to a decision, ladies and gentlemen, and Bobby the King Green went here, ladies and gentlemen. We got some more. We got a co main event and main event coming up here on 304. Ladies and gentlemen, tune in for that. See you then. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.